Round two, I think we'll keep this. This hand needs some help, but that's okay. Hopefully we can draw one of our many ramp or land cards. And then the hand is perfectly fine. They have another one in hand? Oh, Sky Marcher. Never mind. Well, Plummet's looking good out of sideboard. So, I guess we can attack. So I'm debating whether I want to bluff. Problem is I feel like they would block, but I'm not 100% on that. Now I feel like we just knight. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. So, can play the Helioptorus, maybe draw out some more removal. Doesn't make the best use of mana. Hmm. They have four cards in hand as well. I could still race with a Dread Maw. I'm going to play the Dread Maw. I guess I should have blocked with Conquistador.
Could have played the spine back there too, but I want to at least offer the trade to the Sky Marcher. Kind of curious why they didn't do it on the... Oh, they don't want to even offer that. I guess that makes sense. Okay. Oh yeah, this pumps my team. I guess I should have pre-combat played that. Play a conquistador. So we can bring in a cleansing ray and two plummets. That seems fine to me, actually. So we'll do that. So two plummets and a cleansing ray will come in. And we'll drop Blossom Dryad. Hmm. Maybe a migration. Hmm. Maybe the Aegis are. Okay. All right, we'll play first. Yeah, we'll keep. All right, Sky Marcher. At least we have the answer in hand for that. Okay, so let's drop the knight. Then next turn we can actually do Aerosar and leave up a Plummet too, which is kind of nice.
This is a tough one, actually, because I do want to block. And it could be a bluff. The question is, how badly... I don't want to take two damage. There's moment of tri the problem is there there's just so many cards that it could be. Moment of craving, moment of triumph. Vampire zeal. I really don't like giving away two damage here, but I'm going to do it. That's actually interesting. Thankfully, it's not a huge deal. So here we can play the, yeah, we can play the Conquistador and leave up the Plummet. I think doing this is fine because it's going to deck thin for us. And we're going to be able to deal with the, uh, like, we're still going to be able to play basically everything in our deck. So it's not a huge deal that they impaled our, our knight. And using the Impale on that instead of our Aerosaur is actually pretty good for us, so this is probably fine. So we'll play the Aerosar and we'll pass. If I can resolve a Squire's Devotion on that, we'll be in pretty good shape. But otherwise, if I can play a Dreadmaw, I guess I'm fine too. We're like just a, a Dreadmaw away from... So, I mean, the question remains that they attacked with their Forerunner into my 2-4, so they have a trick. I don't think that they're bluffing anymore. But the reason that they wouldn't attack here is that I would just block with a Conquistador. And the fact that they didn't play a Vampire is pretty relevant, too. So let's devotion this. And we'll play a soldier and pass. If they have the removal now, it's okay. Aerosard kind of did its job. And then at least we can eventually get to our Dreadmaw and spine back. guess we kind of have to watch on, well, the thing, yeah, I mean, we kind of have to watch out for Slaughter the Strong, but, I mean, we obviously just choose our Aerosar, so it's not the worst anyway. Arterial flow, huh? All right, well, I guess we're getting rid of the conquistadors then. So Yes, we're playing this, and yes, this kind of prompts the Slaughter the Strong, but we'll make them have it. And like I said, they do it, we'll keep our Aerosar. It's not the end of the world. And then we eventually get to follow up with our, our 
uh, Aerosar. So it looks like they're going to cast it. Yep. All right. So we'll keep our Aerosar. They got good value. But we still have some goodies in hand. We're still winning the race even after the slot is strong. So I'm okay with it. And they missed out on some value there, so that's cool. They could have gotten an extra point of damage in. So I guess that's cool. That's good. Luminous Bond. Well, I don't know where I put the Luminous Bond. guess the... I actually don't know. I feel like one of the vampires, so if I'm going to do one of the vampires, you might as well do the Oath Sworn. This has First Strike, but alright, we'll do this. Once again, miss out on some value, so that's cool. I think we're just going to kill the flyer. Getting rid of the forerunner is kind of important too, but I'm I'm going to I'm going to kill the sky marcher. I don't want to deal with a blocker this turn, or weird combat tricks. Alright, they definitely remembered this turn. Okay, so we'll go to game three. Man, once again, our plummets and, and cleansing rays should deal with all the the big dudes we gotta worry about. So it's basically just like survive the other stuff. Unfortunately, Slot of the Strong is good against us. Excuse me, is good against us, but uh, not much you can do about that. All right. Hmm. Well, this hand needs some help. We're on the draw. We do have a plummet. But... I think I'm going to keep... The reason that I'm keeping is... I've got an Evolving Wilds. I've got... Thunderherd Migration. Stone Quarry. I've got quite a few draws that are good here. Besides the 15 lands, we also have... So we have we have more than 50% shot, I think, per turn. So 
certainly more than 50% shot now. No play. Surprising. Um, I think we do find it, and then we just throw it away. Because I don't want to draw it anymore. Well, cool. I'm glad I have a grip full of ways to kill flyers. <laughs> Hmm. I think I'm going to block. Only because I haven't seen a trick from them, and I had a feeling they were bluffing. Hmm. I guess that's okay. That's not the end of the world. Cool. Got there. See you in round three.